Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee. Today I will teach you the Excel pivot tables and how to make a dashboard from those pivot tables. This is a step by step dashboard tutorial. And from now on, I will teach the tutorials in Cantonese and English version. If you want to listen to the Cantonese version, you can go straight to this type here. Okay, we will begin the tutorial by open a file called the financialstar.xlsx and finish with the file called the financialfinal.xlsx with the table, the bubbles, and also the finished dashboard. In the finished dashboard, if you want to look at the data in year 2014, you just click on the year 2014 and everything is displayed for the year 2014. And if you only want to watch the data from Canada and United States, you just select Canada and control select the United States. This is only the data from Canada and United States and also the smart slide here. And also in the map, you can only see Canada and United States. If you select all the country, France, Germany and Mexico, the map will display all the country for you. And also you can concentrate on some of the products. If I want to select the first three products from here, the data only display the first three products and filter out other products. So this dashboard is more informable than the source data only. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to use this raw data table to create the final dashboard to display the data in a chart and more informable. So let's start the tutorial. First of all, you have to download this file from the share links I have provided down there. You can also go to these links as well. So stop the videos and copy this link if you like. So then you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial to get the finished products dashboard pivot table. Okay, after you have downloaded the file financialstar.xlsx, open it and you can see there's a lot of data records from the rows number two. You can press control down arrow key to see the last record is 701. That means in this raw data table, you have totally 700 records. And this is only a range of records. In Excel, we have to change this range of record into a table. So how to change this record range into a table? Just put yourself inside the range of the data and go to the Home tab here. It's about the middle. You can see an icon called Format at Table. This icon formats at Table. You can click on the down arrow here and select one of the formats you like. I select this format with the blue title. I click on this. Excel will ask you if you like to change this range from A1 to P701 into a table. I click on OK. And then you can see that the range of data is changed into a table. So what is the advantage of a table? In the table, I can click on the arrows and just filter out the countries that I'm interested. For example, Canada and United States and, and click on OK. This record is only display the country United States and Canada. And also if I want to see one of the products only, so I click on the arrow of the product and then select the products. Let's say it's VIT, click on OK. In here, all the record is display Canada VIT or the United States VIT and all other records is just hidden out. So if you want to display all the records, not just the filtered record, you can do it by go to the data tab and turn off the filter from here. So I turn off the filter and all the record is displayed. This means it's full record with 700 records. And also in a table, you can name the table by clicking on the table design tab. And then in here, you can change the name of the table. This is the table name. So I change the table name to, let's say, big data and press enter. Okay, besides that, I want to make a bubble just like this one. This is called a bubble to expand what is the field, what is the column of the record. So how to make this bubble? Click on the Insert tab 
select illustration and click on the shelf here. Down there, I can see a lot of call out. I want to create one of the call outs. This call out is the speed bubble. So I click on the speed bubble and then I draw a bubble here. Change the arrow to point to the data and beginning to type in some text. For example, this is a bubble. You can type in the text to expand the column, the view of the table. So I change this bubble into the fields of the table. So in here, the description of the columns, the country column, the country where the transaction is done, and so on. This is called a bubble. Okay, for this section, I just want to change the name of the worksheet here, down here, the sheet one, into another name. So I double click the sheet one and change it to big data sheet and press enter. Okay, I want to save this file, but I don't want to just save it as the financial star. I want to save it in another file. So I go to the file tab and click on save as. I change the name from financial star to financial in progress and press enter. So that's I save the files financials in progress. This is the end of the section one. We will start to create the pivot table in section two. Okay, in this section, I will try to use this big data worksheet, the table in here. Uh, if I remember, this table is called the big data table. So we use this big data table to create the first people tables. We select one of the cells in this table, and then we go to the insert tab. You can see here, the people table is in the left-hand side. If you click on the people table, the dialog box of the create people table is coming out asking you if you want to select this big data to create the pivot table. And then you create this pivot table in a new worksheet. Yes, we do want to create a new table in a new worksheet. And at the bottom, you have the option to add this data to the data model. In this tutorial, we just skip the creation of the data model. Then we click OK. You can see a new worksheet called Sheet 1 is created. You can see the pivot table 1 is created. And on the right hand side, you can see all the column, all the field name here, the section, country, down to the column years. This is the name of the column of our data table from segment to year. And at the lower corner, you can see four fields here. The filters field, columns, rows, and values. You can drop any of the data column into any field. Let's say if I want to analyze the profit, so I drag the profit, this is a values field, into the values. And then I drag the products into the column. So you can see the column is the product and inside the table is the profits of these products over these two years, 2013 and 2014. I want to drag the years into the row so you can see two years in here, 2013 and 2014. And also I want to analyze each month. So I drag the month name into the rows beneath the years. Then you can see the years and the month here. With year 2013, the starting month is September. And 2014 is from January to December. In this period table, you see the column labels and the rows label. The column label is just the labels of the products. Rows label is the rows labels of years and months. I want to change it to display this as products and this as years and months. I go to the people analyze and the people design tab. If you click on the people design tab, you can see the report layout here. Click on the report layout. You have three options to choose from. The first option is the default option, show in compact form. The second shows in outline form. And the third one, it shows in the tubular form. So I click on the show in tubular form and instantly you can see the column's name is changed to products and the row's name is changed to years and month. This is the best form to display the pivot table if you want the pivot table to describe something. It's better than the default form in compact form. 
because in combat form, it just show you the column labels and the rows label. So I always choose the show in tubular form. You can also turn off the grand total of the columns and the grand total of the rows from here. Just go to the grand total here. You can choose from four options. Turn off the rows and the column total. There's no rows and column total here. You can also turn on one of the total. For example, if I want to turn on the rows total only, so click on the rows total only, you get the grand total of the rows, but not the column. Or you can turn on the columns only. You get the grand total of the column, but not the rows. And also you can turn on rows and columns. Row and column is turning on. So in this case, I want to turn off all the column and the rows total. So I opt for rows and column total. Bingo. And then I can see the subtotal of the year 2014 and the subtotal of the years 2014. I also want to turn off these two subtotal. So go to the subtotal menu and select do not show subtotal. And every subtotal and grand total is turning off. Finally, I want to change the values formats, the number formats of these profits. Because I don't want the decimal point and I want a thousand separator of this value. So I select one of the values, right click it and select values field setting. I can see the dialog box values field setting is turning on. I go to the lower left corner. I can see a number format. Click on the number format and select one of the numbering formats. I select the currency formats and also turn off the decimal point. So the formats is changing to a currency format without the decimal point. So I click OK here and then one more OK. So all the formats is changing to no decimal point and with the dollar size before it. Okay, after finish the pivot table, I want to rename the pivot table. So I click on the pivot table analyst. And then you can see pivot table name is in here. And I want to change it to, let's see, I call it this type of it, people, and click enter to rename it. I want to create the light chart just like this light chart in the final display of the dashboard. So I select one of the cell inside the pivot table and then go to the pivot table analyst. In here, I can click on the pivot chart button one click. This is the type of the pivot chart you want to select from the column chart, line chart, pie chart, bar chart, until the combo chart. In here, I select the line chart and I select the most simple one, the first one of the line chart, 2D line chart, and click on OK. The line chart is created here. I scale the slide chart into a more narrow format. So I got the legend here with the six products from here and, and from September 2014 to the December of 2014 here. In here, you can select the product button to filter some of the product. I just want to see this product and click OK. It's only one product. And also the pivot table is changing as well. You can also from the pivot table to select all the products and click OK. You can see the pivot table and the pivot chart is from the common source. So when you change the display filters of the pivot table or the display filter of the pivot chart, two of them is linked together. So I know that two of them is linked together. I don't want to show the button in the pivot chart. Make the charts more clear. Right click on the button and select hide all field button on char and all the field button is cancel out. In here, I want to select this legend. This is called the legend. I want to paste this legend on the top of the chart. In the pivot chart design tab at the top, on the left side, I can click on the add chart element and select legend. At this moment, the legend is on the right of the pivot chart. I select on the top of the pivot chart and instantly the legend is placed on the top of the pivot chart. I also want to create a um, chart title. So I go to the add charts element, select the chart title, click on above chart and paste the chart title on the left hand side. Highlight it and change this chart title to profit time chart. Align the legend with the chart title. If you satisfy this display of the people's live chart, then go to rename the people chart. Click on the people chart analyze. You can see this is the 
name of the chart. So it's called chart name. I change it to Thai profit chart and click enter. Finally, I paste this chart side by side with the pivot table and rename the worksheet here. So I double click the worksheet at the bottom. At the moment, it's called the sheet one. So I double click it and change this sheet one to Thai profit pivot sheet and click enter. Okay, that's good for section two here. I have successfully created a pivot table and a pivot chart from the source data in this worksheet. So we will continue to create another pivot table and pivot chart in the next section, section three. Okay, after a break, we go to section three. In this section, we want to create this bar pivot chart from the source data. But in this time, we do it in the other way. I right click on the type profit pivot sheet and select move or copy. In this dialog box, I check the create a copy and click OK. And instantly, you can see a duplicate worksheet. I change this name to country segment profit sheet. And then I delete this pivot chart. I have left the pivot table only. I also rename this pivot table to country segment profit People. Then I rearrange the view of this people table. In the view here, I just drag the product back to the upper part, also the year and month to the upper part. And then I drag the segment to the column, the country to the row. So I get another people table in here. The countries in the rows and the segment is on the top. I also go to the design tab on the report layout. I select the shows in tubular form as it is. Because this pivot table is copied from the last pivot table, so all the formats is fit. In here, I use this pivot table to create the pivot chart. So go to the pivot table analyze and then click on the pivot chart. On this type, I select the bar chart not the light chart in the last case. So I click OK. I resize the bar chart as I like. I also turn off the button of the bar chart. So right click any button and select hide all few buttons on chart. Because I don't need the legends on the dashboard, so I delete the legend. In the bottom, the units is not in thousand. I want to change the units into thousand. So I right click and then select format assets. In the format assets, I can see the display units and change the display units from none to thousand. So the value is in thousand. Now I want to add a chart title, go to the chart design and then click on the add chart element and select chart title above chart. This time I change the title to profits by country and segment. I align the title and I also want to add the um, XSS title. So click on the add chart element and then the access title, the primary horizontal. In here, I change this to the profit in thousand. Okay, I quite satisfied with this bar chart pivot. So I select the pivot chart analyst and change the chart name as well. I change the chart name to pivot bar chart and click enter. So now I paste the bar chart next to the pivot table. I make sure the bar chart have a chart name and the pivot table have a pivot table name and the worksheet has the worksheet name. This is the end of the section three. We will also do another pivot pie chart in the next section. Okay, after a break, welcome back. And in these sections, I will teach you how to create this pie chart with the country at the legend. So now I duplicate this worksheet into a new worksheet and create the pie pivot table and the pie pivot chart as well. So right click this worksheet and then click on move or copy. Check the create a copy and click OK. Now we rename the worksheet. So double click to rename the worksheet. I rename the worksheet to 
country profit pie sheet and click enter. Select this chart and click delete to delete the chart. And then put the cell inside the pivot table. Rename the pivot table first. So go to the pivot table analyze. And then we name the pivot table to country profit pie pivot and press enter. Now we rearrange the pivot field of this pivot table. I drag the segment back to the top section, the country back to the top section, and the sum of profits also back to the section. So we have an empty pivot table. In these pivot tables, I drag the country into the rows, and then I drag the profit into the values. So you get the profits in the values. I also drag the profits in the values once again. So you got two fields contain the profit values. But in the second column here, I don't want the sums of the profits. I just want the percentage of the profits within this country. So in the second fields, I select one of the cell, let's say C4, and right click on it, select the value field setting. In the value field setting, you can see two tab here, summarize value by, and show value as. I select the show values as. In the source value as field, you can see a no calculation. I click on the arrow down here. I select the grand total. So I click the grand total percentage. I also change the number format to currency without the decimal space and click OK. Click OK again. You can see this is the zero currency. Okay, I make the mistakes of here. So I don't want the currency's values. So I right click again and go to the values view setting again. Click on the number format and select the percentage. Because this is the percentage, so I have to select the percentage of number formats and click OK. One more OK. So you can see the percentage of Canada is in a whole 21% of the world. France is 22 percent of the world. I also want to change the formats of this profit. So I right click and select value field setting and change its number format to currency. Set the decimal place to zero and click OK. In here, I also change the custom name into total profit and click OK. I also want to change this sums of profits into a percentage of profit. Right click on this and select value field setting and also change the name to percentage profit and click OK. Now I use this pivot table to create a pivot pie chart. So select the pivot table, click on the pivot table analyze and click on the pivot chart. This time I select a pie chart for the pivot chart. So I select the pie chart and click OK. You can see a pie chart is coming out. I also don't want the button of the pie chart, so right click on the button and select hide all fields button on chart. And you can see a total profit at the top is the chart title. So I select the chart title and delete it. I also don't want the chart title in this pie chart. You can put this legend at the bottom or on the right side. And this time I put it on the right side. I quite satisfied with the pivot table and pivot chart. So I go to the pivot chart, select the pivot chart analyze, and then change the name to country pie chart and press enter. So this is good for the pie chart section. I have created the pivot table and also the pie chart as well. So I go to file and save this files as this status. I will teach you how to create the Sparkslide pie chart in the next section section 5. Okay, in this section, I will try to teach you how to create this Sparkslide table. But if you want to create this Sparkslide table, you have to create a Sparkslide pivot table first. And then in the final section, I will teach you how to create this Sparkslide table. As the previous section, I right click on the country profit pie worksheet and click on move or copy. Check the create a copy and click OK. And now I change the worksheet name to Spark Slide Sheet. Then I select the pie chart and delete it. Select the pivot table and change the field of it. I drag the value back to the top and the country back to the top. I drag the month name 
to the columns and the products to the row, the profit to the values. So that you can see, I have created all the fields from January, February to December. But this is the year 2014 only. So I have to drag the years down here as well and make the month name beneath the years. So you can see now, I have all the month of 2013 and also the month of 2014 to December. And all the products is in the row. So I select the pivot table here and rename it. I click on the pivot table analyst and rename it to Spotlight People. In these people tables, I also want to have a filters of the country. So I check the country to the filter. Now, if you select the filter as a country, at the moment, it is all. I can select it and select only Canada. Click OK. This data is only Canada's data. And also, I want to select Germany and click OK. This is the Germany only data. Now, I change it back to all. This means all the country data is filled into this pivot table. I minimize this for a while so that I can see the whole pivot table. I rename this pivot table by the pivot table analyst to Spotlight Pivot. I better rename it to SL World Pivot. This means the whole world pivot data is in here. I select the whole pivot table and click Control C to copy it. I paste this in the A15 and press Control V to paste the whole table down here. Once again, I space the cells in A30 and press Control V again. I do it three more times for line 45, Control V to pay this, and line 60, Control V to pay this, and also finally line 75, Control V to pay this. So I have got all six table. The first people table is all the data of the world, this means five countries as a total. And then in the second people table, I select Canada. The third people table, I select France. The fourth, I select Germany. The fifth, I select Mexico. And the um, last one, I select United States of America. So I got all these people table for different country and as a whole for all the world, five countries. I also rename all the pivot table. So I select the second one. I go to the pivot tables analyst and rename it to SL Canada. The third one to SL France. The fourth one to SL Germany. The fifth one to SL Mexico. And the last one to SL USA and all the pivot tables have renamed it. I go to the first pivot table, the SL World Pivot, and click on the design, turn on the grand total of the rows only. So I have the grand total at this pivot table. You can go here, you can see the grand total because I need these grand total values to create the Sparkslide chart. In here, I also change the format of this pivot table to the currency format. So right click on it, go to value free setting, click on number format and select currency without any decimal place. Click OK and OK. Do the same thing for all the pivot table in this worksheet. So after formatting all the pivot tables and I require certify with these pivot tables, I will use these pivot tables in the last session to create the visual spark slide. So for this lesson, this is okay. And in the next session, I will teach you how to create a pivot math, a 2D math. Okay, now we continue the next section. In this section, I will teach you how to create this wall map. This is what we left in the last section. So I right click on the Spark Slide worksheet and select move or copy. Then I click on create a copy and click OK. As before, I change the worksheet name to map sheet. Then I select all the pivot tables down here and delete it. Just leave one pivot tables up here. 
And I also rearranged the fill. So I drag all the fill back to the top section to remove it. And then I drag the country fill to the rows and the profit fill to the values. So I get all the country and the total profit in here. I right click the columns of the profit field and select value field setting. I change the number format to currency without decimal place. Okay, I have created the data I need to create the world map. But in Excel 2019 or 2016, if you want to create a 2D map, you have to use the data from a fixed table, not a pivot table, because in here, this is a pivot table. Before I create the hard cooked table, I select the pivot tables and click on the pivot table analyst and change the name to country map pivot. I highlight all the pivot table, press Control C to copy, and I paste this on D3. So I click on the paste here and select values only. This is the data I need to create a 2D map. I highlight the data and select the insert tab. In here, I can see a map with a golf on it and select fill map. So a 2D map is created from the hard cooked table, this table here. But I have to refer this map to the original pivot table. How can I do this? I select the map and select select data button. In the chart data range, I select the chart data range and highlight the original pivot table data and click OK. And now this map is referred to the original pivot data, not the hard cooked data. Delete the hard cooked data, so I highlight it and press delete. Just delete the hard cooked data. In here, I change the title of the map chart to Profit of the world. Bingo, I have created a 2D map, and in this section, this is just that, create a people map. And this people map will be used for the last section, we create the dashboard. In the next section, I will teach you how to create the Spark slide table. And now we continue the section seven. In this section, I will teach you how to create this dashboard. So this is the last section we left off. I click on the plus button here to create a new worksheet. So you can see a sheet one is created. I drag the sheet one to the fun part of the worksheet group, double click it, and I change the name to dashboard. I go to the type pivot worksheet, select the chart, and control C to copy it. Go back to my dashboard and control V to paste it. I move it somewhere in the worksheet. And now I go to the country segment profit worksheet, select the chart, control C to copy, go back to the dashboard, control V to paste it. And also go to the country profit pie worksheet, select the pie chart, control C to copy, and go to the dashboard, control V to paste it. Now I go to the map worksheet, select the world map, control C, and go back to the dashboard, control V to paste it. And I left hop here, I select the cell from D18 to K25. So D18 to K25 here. I make the formats to have a all borders format. This is the tables where I will put the spark slide table in here. From now, I select the cell D18 to K18 and click on this button, merge and center, and type in this value here. The spark slide trend of profits by country and products. Of course, you can scale the font size of it. And from the cell D19 to K19, I put in the values of products, total profit, total trend, Canada, France, Germany, Mexico, and United States. Now, we scale your charts to fit it to the panel. So after you have rescaled all the chart to fit in the panel, one more thing we have to do is how to create the data in this Spark Slide chart. So I go to the cells D20 and I type in the following equation. I type in equal sign 
and then I click on the Spark Slice worksheet here and select the cell A6 and press enter. Now you can see the data of the Spark Slice worksheet A6 is copied into this D20 cell. I select the D20 and drag down the handle to copy all the values the product values into this cell here. The next step is I go to the E20 cell and I type in the following equation. I click on equal sign. This is the total profit of the products. So I go to the spark line, watch it here. I go to the cell grand total of the first people table of six. You can see the value is copied into here. Of course, I can change the formats of these values by selecting the cell and go to the home tab, select the font home tab, click on number format, select currency without any decimal place. So you get the values of the currency in here. Before I drag the handle down, I want to change the values of this equation. So I press F2 in the keyboard. I can see the product name from here. I select the product name and click on this cell D20. That means I have to change the hard code name into D20, the soft code field. Now I can drag the E20 cell down to the E25. I got all the values of the total profit. And now I want to create the spark slide for all this country and also the whole world as well. So I select the total trend from F20 to F25. I click on the Insert tab and select the Spark Slide here. The Spark Slide, the first Spark Slide graph here. After I click it, I put the cursor in the data range and then select the Spark Slide worksheet. In this Spark Slide worksheet, I select all the data of the topmost pivot table. So it's from B6 to Q11 and click OK. And now you can see the whole world spark slide is created here. The same thing is done to the Canada, France, Germany, Mexico, and United States. So I select the field in the Canada and click on insert spark slide as well. And this time I go to the spark slide worksheet and select the next table. The next table is Canada from September 2013 to December 2014 here and click OK. And the spark slide is created as well. The same thing has to be done to France, Germany, Mexico, and United States. So click insert spark slide, go to the spark slide worksheet and highlight the France data and click OK. For the Germany fields, do the same thing. Highlight, insert spark slide, click on the spark slide worksheet and select the data of the Germany, the whole set data. Also the same thing with the Mexico. So I highlight the Mexico field, insert, spark slide, go to the spark slide worksheet and select the data of Mexico. The last thing is the United States. Highlight it, insert, spark slide, go to the spark slide worksheet and select all the data of the United States of America and click OK and every spark slide is created. So I minimize the wheel to check all the thing is okay. So in this dashboard, I have created three charts here, a map and a spark slide table. One more thing we have to do is for the, one more thing we have to do is the slicer of the left. Just like the final product here, you can see a slicer here. So I want to create a slicer and I nearly forget the top rows the title Profits of Big Data Company Limited. So I go back to my in progress files. I recite the pie chart map and the line chart map. And then I make the row one higher. Select the rows one by clicking the one value here and change the background color to gray color. I change the font color to a right color. And I type in the title here. The title is the Big Data Company. Profit report. I also change the font size of it to let's say 24 and select the cell from A1 to W1 and click on the merge and center cell. Make it both letter as well. 
So I got the title on the top and three chart at the bottom, one smart slide table and one 2D map. This is good for this section and in the next section I will teach you how to create the slicer so that you can select different years, country or product from the slicer, just like the final dashboard you can see in here. I click on file and save the in progress file and see you in the next section. Okay, we finally come to an end. In this section, I will teach you to create this three slicer, the slicers of years, country, and products. And in this three slicer, you can control all the people chart, the spark slide, and the map as well. So we go back to the last section, we left off here. And if you want to create a slicer, just select one of the people chart or one of the pivot table. I select one of the pivot table and then go to the pivot table analyze. In here, I click on the insert slicer. What I need is the slicer of the country, the slicers of the years, and the slicer of the products. So I check these three checkbox and click OK. So I got all of these three slicer. I need to I need to copy all three slicer into the dashboard worksheet. So I select it all and Control C to copy. I go to the dashboard worksheet and Control V to paste. Now I paste the country slicer in here. I space the year slicer in here. Scale is done and arrange it and also the product slicer as well so you can scale to fit and align it together i also want to change the color of the slicer the first one i change the color to yellow i select the slicer and click on slicer tab and select one of the format let's say it's yellow and the second one i select the format is blue and uh, First one, the format is in green color. But what happened here is that this realizer only can control this profit type chart and not the other chart. Let's see if I select Canada. And this data is the Canada data. And I select 2014. And this data is 2014 of Canada. But the other chart and the other spark slide is not changed. So what can I do? to make this slicer to control all the people chart and the spark slide as well, and the map as well. So I select the first slicer, go to the slicer tab, and click on the report connection. In this report connection, you can see all the people table is created in here. So I check all the checkbox in this dialog box and click OK. That means for now on, the year slicer can control all the people table and all the people chart. So if I select 2014, the 2014 slicer control all the people chart and also the spark slide as well. So now I select the second slicer, the country slicer, go to the slicer and do the same thing as the report connections. In this dialog box, I check all the checkbox and click OK. I do the same thing with the last slicer. I go to the slicer tab, report connection, and check all the checkbox and click OK. So I finished everything. I want to check it. So in the products, I click on one of the products. For example, Bello. And this product is for Bello's information. If I select only the Canada, so I select the only the Canada in the country, the pie chart is collect to 100%, and the spark slide is only one product, and this one is the Canada. And the bar chart is as well, only the Canada data with the balance products. So I control kicks the VTT product as well. So it's the Canada VTT products and the Bello products. I click on this filter to this filter everything. So I need all the products in Canada, or I need all the products in United States. The math is also changed to United States. If I want all the country, so cancel out this filter, and also all the years, or year 2014, is a year 2013, 
and 40. So this is good for the dashboard tutorials. If you like this tutorial, just subscribe to me and give more likes and introduce other students to listen to this YouTube video. Thank you. Bye bye. 早晨，歡迎大家翻返嚟我 Learn with Tom Lee 嘅教室。今日我會講 Excel 嘅 Pivot Table， 同埋我係點樣利用呢啲 Pivot Table 啦，去 create 一個我哋叫 Dashboard 嘅東西。由而家開始，我嘅 tutorial 咧將會用英文同埋廣東話去教授。如果大家係想聽英文版嘅話咧，大家可以去到呢個 video 嘅零時零分零秒，我哋就可以收聽㗎啦。我哋開始個 tutorial 啦，又係由呢個檔案開始嘅。咁呢個檔案呢，就有晒所有嘅 raw data 喺呢一度，就叫做 financial star 嘅檔案。咁呢個檔案大家呢，就可以去我下低提供嘅 link 或者呢個 link 去 download 嘅。download 咗之後呢，我哋會將呢個檔案啦嘅 raw data 啦，就會轉成啦 final 我哋呢一個嘅 dashboard。咁喺呢個 dashboard 裏面啦。我哋就可以淨係睇二零一四年嘅資料咯，呢個係二零一四年嘅資料，或者我哋純粹想睇翻加拿大同埋美國啦 ，United States 嘅資料啦，你會見到我哋就可以揀加拿大同埋美國。當我係揀咗加拿大同美國啦，下低個地圖就係只係顯示加拿大同埋美國嘅地圖。如果我哋著曬所有嘅國家嘅話咧，我哋就會睇到嗰個世界地圖啦，無論係法國啦、德國啦，或者係墨西哥嘅地圖都會顯示出嚟嘅。都喺下低個 product 呢度啦，我哋咗可以係揀幾隻我哋有興趣嘅 product， 然之後睇翻佢哋嘅比較。咁呢個差咧就會根據我哋揀唔同嘅嘢而有所改變嘅。咁呢個就係 dashboard， 亦都係我哋今日。呢、这個 tutorial 嘅目的，咁大家就快啲上網去 download 咗我俾你嘅 financial star XLSX 嗰個 file 啦，然之後大家就可以去跟我教大家嘅步驟啦，去 create 由一個 raw data 去 create 成為一個嘅 dashboard 噶啦。好，如果大家 download 咗嗰個 financial star 嗰個檔案啦，你打開佢之後咧。你會見到一連串嘅 record， 一共有幾多隻 record 啦？大家可以擺落去是但一個 cells 裏面，然之後撳 control 向下戰嘴，大家可以見到個 record 啦，係去到第七百零一行嘅，亦即係話呢度係一共有七百隻 record 嘅。咁呢個只不過係一個 record， 我哋叫做 record range。如果我哋想喺 Excel 度將呢個 record range 係轉做一個嘅 data table 啦，我哋就會揀翻上高 Excel 呢度有一個 home tab 啦，然之後裏邊有一個 format as table 嘅東西，你可以是但揀一個格式去將你嗰個 range 係轉做一個 data table。呢度我就揀咗藍色嘅 title 呢個 table 嘅 format， 我揀咗之後啦。我會問大家係咪想用 A 1至到 P 7 0 1去做個 data table？ 個答案當然係 OK。當大家轉咗做 table 嘅時候咧，你會見到喺個 country 或者其他個 column 上面有一個向下嘅箭嘴。我哋撳落去個向下箭嘴，我可以淨係揀我想睇加拿大同埋美國嘅資料，我就可以撳 OK。你會見到淨係加拿大同埋美國嘅 record 就會顯示出嚟，又或者我淨係想睇喺呢兩個國家裏面嘅其中一隻 product 喺 product 度，我亦都可以撳向下戰嘴，淨係揀例如 VTT 呢只 product， 揀咗之後啦，我哋見到只係加拿大 VTT 或者係美國嘅 VTT 嘅 record， 其他嘅 record 啦就會係隱藏咗。喺裏邊嘅，如果大家係想睇翻所有嘅 record 做法，就係大家去翻 data 呢個 tab 啦，裏邊有個 filter 呢個位置，喺呢個位置裏邊啦，我哋就可以啦，係撳一撳呢個 filter 呢個漏斗，熄咗個 filter， 所有嘅 record 就會走翻曬出嚟噶啦。大家亦都可以做嘅嘢就係將呢個 data table 啦，係改翻一個靚名，我哋可以撳翻上高。table design， 然之後喺個 table name 呢個位置啦，我哋就改翻一個適當嘅名稱俾佢。呢、这個名稱啦，我叫佢做 
big data 撳 enter 就改咗個名俾佢㗎啦。改完之後，我希望呢係做一個叫做 bubble 嘅東西，去解釋我哋呢個 table 嘅 column。bubble 係啲咩嚟？我哋可以睇返 final 嗰個啦。呢、这、一個就係叫做 bubble。咁呢個 bubble 我哋點去 create？ 你可以走去。一個 insert 嘅 tab 裏面有一個 illustration， 擊落個 illustration 裏面有一個 shape， 呢個 shape 下面最低咧有一個叫 call out 嘅 ，call out 嘅其實係一連串嘅 bubble， 我就揀其中一個 bubble 啦，叫做 speech bubble， 擊落去之後啦，我可以 drag 一個圖出嚟，個 bubble 就 create 咗出嚟，然之後我就拉個箭頭去指示我呢啲 data， 你可以打啲資訊啦去話俾。個 user 聽啦，呢扎 data 究竟係講緊啲乜嘢？咁呢個 bubble 啦，當然要打返適當嘅資訊。咁我將呢個 bubble 啦，我抄返原有嘅 bubble 過嚟，俾大家知道啦。其實係你要打返原有嘅資料，例如我話 description of the column country 就係代表 the country where the transaction is done， 如此類推。你可以打返適當嘅資料喺呢個 bubble 裏面嘅。好啦，喺呢個 section 裏面啦，我哋做到呢度，我哋改埋下低呢個 worksheet 嘅名。而家呢個 worksheet 呢，就咁叫做 sheet one 嘅啫，我哋就將佢改名叫做 big data sheet。咁我哋就 double click 佢咯，可以將佢改名叫做 big data worksheet 或者係 sheet。咁就改咗名，撳 enter。改完名之後，我要 save 低呢個檔案，但係我今次 save 嘅時候啦。我就希望用 save as 嘅方式 save 低佢，用第二個名。我唔想去改變咗 financial star 呢個檔案。我撳個 files， 然之後撳 save as。我將呢個名稱啦，係改為 financial in progress。你唔需要理我呢個 C H I， 因為我想分開英文版同埋中文版，所以我加咗個 C H I 嘅啫。當我改咗叫 financial in progress 嘅時候啦。我就撳 save，save 低個檔案，你會見到個檔案咧嘅名稱啦，係改咗做 financial in progress 嘅 XLS X。好，第一次就到呢一度為止，咁我喺第二次啦，先至開始教大家點樣做個 people table 同埋 chart。我哋繼續將呢個 source data table 啦，去 create 一個 people table， 然之後 create 一個 people chart。你可以將個 cells 係擺落呢個 table 任何一個 cells 裏面，然之後撳。Insert 呢個 tab 喺 Insert 呢個 tab， 我哋可以撳返左上角嘅 People Table， 一個 Create People Table 嘅 Dialog Box 就會走出嚟啦。問一問我哋係咪用 Big Data 呢一組 data 啦，去 Create 個 People Table。跟住 Create 出嚟嗰個 People Table 係咪擺喺一個 New 嘅 Worksheet 裏面？我哋又話係擺喺一個 New Worksheet 裏面。最下低有個 option 就係 add this data to the data model。今堂我哋唔會講乜嘢叫 data model， 所以下低呢一度啦，我亦都唔 select 佢嘅。跟住我哋撳 OK， 撳咗 OK 之後，大家就會見到一個叫 people table one 或者 people table two 出現咗。左邊啦就會有 segment 呢個 column 啦 ，country 啦，一直落到去 years 呢個 column。如果大家仲記得呢啲 column 啦，其實係我哋個 raw data 裏面嘅 column name 嚟嘅 segment 啦 ，country 啦，一直去到最尾嘅 year 就係呢個 column name， 就會擺咗喺個 people table 嘅 creation 裏面。喺呢一度，我哋見到下低有四個 people field， 包括咗 filter、column、row 同埋 value。我哋可以 drag 任何一個 column 去落去下低呢四個 column field 裏面。咁第一次啦，我哋就會 check 個 profit 啦，因為我哋有興趣研究個 profit 啦，我哋 check 個 profit 啦，落去 values 嗰個 column， 我哋就會睇到 sum of the profit 就係所有嘅 value。跟住我哋將 product 啦，我哋想分唔同嘅 product， 睇下有唔同嘅 profit， 我哋就 check 落個 column 度，我哋即時就會睇到唔同嘅 product 咧，唔同嘅 profit 擺咗喺呢啲 column 度，有個最後有個 grand total 喺 rows 方面啦。我哋就 d r a g 個 year， 因為我想研究二零一三同埋二零一四兩年之間嘅 profit， 包括呢六個 product。即時我哋就會睇到 rows 方面有二零一三同埋二零一四。然之後我想研究埋個月份，所以我 d r a g 埋個 month name 落去 rows years 嘅下面，我就可以睇到二零一三由 September 開始啦，去到 December 二零一四由 January 去到 December 所有嘅 profit 啦。
就會喺曬呢一度，就會有個 grand total， 同埋每一年都有一個嘅 sub total 擺咗喺呢個位置嘅。但係上高你會睇到呢個 p e o p l e table 有一個好奇怪嘅地方啦，上高就寫住 column label 同埋 row label， 究竟係咩嚟？其實 column label 啦，亦即係呢個 column， 即係 product， 而 row label 啦，亦即係 year 同埋 month， 我哋擺埋同一個 column 裏面嘅。如果我想睇得比較精準啲，我要知道呢個究竟係咩 column 嘅話啦，我唔係淨係想睇個 label， 我可以點做？我可以撳落去上面有一個叫做 p i v o t Table 嘅 a n a l y s t 同埋 Design。我而家撳咗 Design 之後啦，有一個叫 Report Layout， 擊落個 Report Layout， 你有三個嘅選項，包括咗 Show in Compact Form， 呢個係預設嘅選項 ；Show in Outline Form 同埋 Show in Tubular Form， 我就揀 Show in Tubular Form。即時間你就會見到嗰個 column label 就會變成 product， 而 row label 啦係分開兩個 column， 係 year 同埋 month name。咁樣睇法就比較清楚少少啦。一般嚟講，預設啦係揀咗 show in compact form。當我揀咗 show in compact form 啦，你會見到佢轉翻做 column label 同埋 row label。我都係翻翻轉頭揀翻個 show in tubular form 啦。呢度我會睇到個 grand total 喺個 rows 嗰度，同埋個 grand total 啦喺個 column 嗰度。我唔想 display 呢個 grand total， 我可以點樣做？你可以撳落去 grand total 呢個位置，有四個選項俾你揀。一呢就係 all for rows and column， 即係熄曬 row 同埋 column 嘅 grand total。我試下先。咁我熄咗之後呢，就會唔見咗個 grand total of the rows 同埋個 column。我可以淨係著個 grand total for rows only。就淨係 rows 有 grand total column 就冇，又或者淨係著個 on for columns only， 就淨係 column 有 grand total 個 rows 係冇。如果你全部著曬，即係 on for rows and column，rows 嘅 grand total 同埋 column 嘅 grand total 都會 display 出嚟。喺呢個 case 我就揀 off for rows and column， 我唔要個 grand total， 無論係 rows 又好 ，column 都好，都唔要啦。跟住落嚟喺個十 total， 你見到二零一三又有個十 total， 二零一四有個十 total of the profit， 我都唔想要，所以我就喺個十 total 度揀 do not show 十 total， 佢都係有三個 option 嘅，咁我揀 do not show 十 total， 咁就所有嘅十 total 啦都唔見晒。嗱，睇嚟呢一個 p i v o t table 都幾靚仔啦，咁但係爭在呢一啲 value 呢啲 profit 啦。我唔想要小數點，而且我想要翻喺千位數有個 comma 同埋加個 d o l l a sign， 我可以點樣做？我可以揀求其一個嘅 value cell right click 佢，然之後揀 value field setting， 撳咗落去之後，個 value field setting 嘅 d o l l a box 就出現咗喺左下角就有個 number format， 試下 click 落去先，撳落去 number format， 你會見到有好多個 number format。其中一個就係 currency， 我就揀 currency， 然之後將個 decimal point 小數點後兩個位就 set 去做零，我唔要小數點，有個 d o l l a size 千位數有 comma， 然之後撳 OK 再 OK， 啊，成個 p e o p l e table 靚仔曬係咪？咁呢個就係個 sum of product 嘅 p e o p l e table by years and month。跟住落嚟，我將呢個 p e o p l e table 改返個靚名俾佢先。咁我點樣改名？我就撳返落去 p e o p l e table analyst。見到左上角呢個就係個 p i v o t table 嘅 name， 咁我就會改返呢個 p i v o t table 嘅 name 啦，叫做 t i p r o f i t p i v o t 留意返呢個係個 p i v o t table 嘅名，而唔係我哋個 source data 嘅 table 嘅名。我哋 source data 嘅 table 嘅名叫 big data， 而我係 p i v o t table 嘅名啦，就叫佢做 t i p r o f i t p i v o t 跟住我想利用呢個 p i v o t table 啦，去 create 個 p i v o t chart， 就好似喺我哋個 final product 裏面呢個 line chart， 就係 product。同埋時間嘅一個 p e o p l e chart， 咁我點樣 create 呢個 p e o p l e chart 呢？我揀個 p e o p l e table 任何一個 cell， 然之後喺上面嘅 p e o p l e table a n a l y s t 撳返個 p e o p l e chart， 呢度有一連串嘅 chart 嘅，包括 column chart 啦、line chart 啦、pie chart 啦，去到 combo chart。喺呢一度我就揀 line chart， 因為 line chart 比較適合我呢個 p e o p l e table。我揀第一個最簡單嘅。p e o p l e l i g h t chart 當然你可以揀其他嘅 p e o p l e l i g h t chart， 不過我覺得呢個較為簡單啲，最適合我哋嘅 exercise， 我就揀第一個，然之後撳 OK。我將呢個 p e o p l e chart 啦，係拉翻闊啲咯，等我哋可以 display 啊兩年即係十幾個月嘅一啲資料，較為好睇啲啦。
喺呢一度，我可以淨係睇翻某隻 product 嘅 profit， 就喺個掣呢個位 ，product 呢個掣撳落去咯，我就可以 fill 得 out 所有都唔睇，我淨係睇某一個，例如 VTT 或者係 Velo， 咁我撳翻 Velo 咯，跟住撳 OK， 咁你見到咧就係淨係 Velo 嗰個 trend 嘅啫。啊！喺個 p i v o t table 亦都剩返 barrel 嗰個 chain， 其他嘅 product 就唔見咗。當然我可以喺個 p i v o t table 裏面嘅 product 嘅 filter 著返晒所有嘢。當個 p i v o t table 改變，個 p i v o t chart 亦都會改變。佢兩者啦係同出一轍嘅，即係用返同一個 data source， 所以大家都會係一樣嘅。所以下面呢度我就唔需要 display 呢一個嘅 button 啦，我 right click 呢個 button 啦，就揀 hide all fill button on the chart。咁呢個 chart 咧就唔見曬所有 fill button， 個 chart 就比較乾淨靚仔啲啦。呢、这個我係叫做 legend，legend 係 display 我哋咩顏色係咩 product， 我係稱為 legend。嗱，我希望呢個 legend 啦係擺喺上面而唔係右手邊，我就可以揀返呢個 people chart 上高有一個叫做 design， 喺個 design 嘅 tab 左邊有個 add chart element， 擊落個 add chart element， 我就揀返 legend， 然之後話俾你聽 ，I want to。Paste on the top， 我 click 翻 on the top， 咁我就會擺喺最頂。最後我想加翻一個 chart title 喺左上角，亦都係撳翻 add chart element， 然之後喺度揀 chart title， 撳翻 about chart， 然之後改翻一個靚名俾佢啦。咁呢個名啦，我叫做係猜 product 嘅 profit 啊，任何一個名都可以嘅，咁你中意啦。咁我就將呢一個嘅 people chart 嘅 title 啦。擺過去左邊，然之後將個 legend 啦係 align with 佢嘅。最後我就將呢一個 people chart 都改返一個名俾佢。咁我亦都係撳返上高嘅 people chart a n a l y s e 啦，然之後俾返一個名俾佢。咁我亦都叫佢做 type product chart 咁 enter。將呢個 people chart 啦係排排坐咁樣擺咗喺 people table 嘅左邊，完成咗個 people chart 同埋個 people table， 我幾滿意。於是啦，喺下面呢一個嘅 worship one 啦，我就 double click 改翻個名，我叫佢做 Thai product 嘅 shit 啦。好，到呢一度咧就 section two 啦，差唔多我哋就完成咗啦。我係 save 一個 file， 跟住我哋就去 section three 啦。好啦，休息完之後咧，我哋翻翻嚟 section three。咁 section three 我哋嘅目標咧係要做呢一個嘅 bar chart people profit by country segment。And the profit is in thousand。我哋點樣做呢一個 bar chart 嘅 people chart 咧？啊，我哋會用另外一個方法去做個 people table 啦，同埋個 people bar chart 嘅。個方法就係我哋 right click 下底 type profit question 咯，然之後揀 move or copy。喺個 move or copy 嘅 dialog box 裏邊啦，我哋就揀咗 create a copy， 然之後撳 OK。撳咗 OK 之後，你會見到下低啦，有多一份嘅副本喺下面。我哋將呢一個嘅 Type Product Worksheet 啦，係改名先 ，double click 佢啦，然之後改名，改去做 Country Segment Profit s h e e t 撳 Enter。跟住落嚟啦，我哋將呢一個嘅 Line Chart 啦，係 delete 咗佢 ，select， 然之後 delete 咗佢。继而，我哋将呢个 people table 嘅名都改咗去，我揀返 people table 个 analyst， 然之后将个名啦，亦都改咗去嘅。我改去做 country segment profit people， 然之后揿 enter。我哋再重新编排各个 people table 嗰个 feel 嘅安排。我将个 product 系 drag 翻上嚟上高个 part， 个 year 同埋个 month name 都系一样。然之后我哋将个 segment 啦。係 drag 落去個 column 嗰度，再將個 country 啦，係 drag 落個 rows 嗰度。你即時會睇得到啦，就係、是、個 country 啦，就喺個 rows 裏面啦，從加拿大去到 United States， 即係美國咯。然之後啦，個 segment 啦，就係、是、由 channel partner 啦，去到個 business 嘅 segment 就會喺個 column 嗰度。嗰、那個 format 啦。可以喺個 design 裏面啦，喺個 record layout 啦，係揀翻 show in t u b u l a r form、啊。之前都揀咗啦，咁所以你見到我因為我係吸過嚟嘅緣故啦，所以之前嗰個格式啦，得拉曬嘅格式啦，千位數有 comma 嘅格式啦，同埋冇少數點位嘅格式都會攞咗過嚟呢一邊嘅。
喺呢個 pivot table 裏面，我哋嘗試喺個 pivot chart， 我擺喺個 pivot table 裏面啦，撳翻個 pivot table analyst， 然之後揀 pivot chart。今次個 pivot chart 啦，我唔係揀 line chart 啦，亦都唔係揀 column chart 啦，我係揀 bar chart 嘅。揀咗之後，亦都係揀第一個嘅 custom bar chart， 然之後撳 OK。撳咗 OK 之後，我重新編排過呢個 bar chart 嘅高低咯。喺呢一度，我亦都唔需要 bar chart 上高呢啲 button， 我 right click 其中一個 button 咯，然之後揀 high all fields button in chart， 令到我嗰個 bar chart 啦係更加寬闊嘅。最後我連呢個 legend 都 delete 咗佢，因為喺個 dashboard 裏面啦，我哋只係需要一個 legend 就夠㗎啦。我就將個 legend 啦係 delete 咗佢啦，咁、那個 legend 啦就係唔見咗啦。剩翻落嚟嘅就係個 country 啦，同埋下低嗰個 profit 嘅 value。但你留意到下低呢個 profit 嘅 value 啦，有一個問題，因為個數字太大啦，我又有重疊嘅現象，我就希望啦個單位啦係用千位做單位嘅。我 right click 個 x a s s e s 咯，然之後揀 format a s s e s 喺個 format a s s e s 裏面，你會睇到啦係 display units 而家係 none 嘅。我就揀返 in thousand， 即時間個 display unit 啦變咗 in thousand 啦，比較容易睇。呢、這個三千即係三千千啊，即係三百萬，咁就 in thousand。我想加返個 chart title 俾佢，所以我就喺個 design 裏面啦，係撳返 add chart element， 然之後揀 chart title 裏面嘅 about chart。click 咗之後，我就將呢個 chart title 啦係改咗個名嘅，我改去做 profit by country segment。然之後 arrange 翻喺左上角，我亦都想加翻個 x a s s e s 嘅 title， 所以我喺上面亦都撳翻 add chart element 裏面嘅 a s s e s title primary horizontal 喺個 primary horizontal 裏面，我亦都改過個字眼，叫佢做 profit in thousand click enter。嗱，我而家幾滿意呢一個嘅 bar chart， 所以我就將個 bar chart 啦係排排坐喺個。Pivot table 嘅隔離，咁呢個 bar chart 都需要一個名係咪？咁所以我亦都喺個 bar chart select 嘅時候啦，就揀咗個 pivot chart analyst， 然之後將個名啦係改咗佢，叫咩名唔緊要，咁我叫佢做 country segment chart， 撳 enter。嗱，成功地 create 咗個 pivot table、pivot chart 同埋呢一張新嘅 worksheet。我留意翻個 worksheet 嘅名改咗，個 chart 嘅名亦都改咗。個 pivot table 嘅名亦都係改咗噶。咁 section three 啦，就到呢一度啦。咁喺 section four 嘅時候咧，我先至教大家點樣 create 個 pie chart 啦。好，我哋繼續第四節。喺呢一節咧，我將會教大家點樣 create 呢個 pie chart 嘅。當然，我哋首先要 create 個 pivot table， 然之後用個 pivot table 咧去 create 個 pie chart。同上一節一樣，我哋將呢一張 country segment p r o f i t worksheet 啦，係 right click 佢，再 create 另外一張嘅 duplicate， 所以我就揀 move or copy。喺呢一度，我 select 咗 create a copy and click OK。撳咗 OK 之後啦，你見到我就 create 咗一個 copy。喺呢個 copy 呢張紙啦，當然我要將佢轉名嘅，所以我就 double click 佢啦。然之後我將個名轉做 country pie s h e e t enter。我亦都將呢個 profit by country segment 嘅 chart 啦。係 delete 咗佢，而呢個 pivot table 啦，我亦都走上去 pivot table 嘅 a n a l y s t 裏面啦，係將個名改咗做 country pie people， 撳 enter。我將裏面嘅 view 啦係改咗佢。首先我就將個 segment 嘅 view 啦係拉翻上上面啦 ，country 嘅 view 啦亦都拉翻上上面。啊、我亦都可以同時將 sum of profit 嘅 view 拉翻上上面。而家我就變成一個空白嘅。Pivot table 喺呢個空白嘅 Pivot table 裏面啦，我就將個 country 啦係 drag 落去個 rows 嗰個 column 嗰度，然之後將個 profit 咯係 drag 落去個 values， 你就會見到一個 sum of profit。但係今次做法好特別，我再將個 profit 啦再 drag 落去，你見到兩個 column 都係 sum of profit， 一個 sum of profit， 一個 sum of profit two。其實喺第二個 column 我係唔想要個 value， 而係我想要個 percentage。個做法就係我揀咗第二個 column 嘅一個 cell 啦 ，right click 佢啦，然之後揀 value field setting， 
喺個 value field setting 裏面，我見到兩個 tab， 一個就係 summarize value by， 一個就係 show value as， 我就揀 show value as。下面嘅 show value as 啊，有個 no calculation， 我就撳落去，就揀 percentage of grand total， 然之後撳 OK 嘅。當我撳咗 OK 之後咧，你見到呢一個咧就出現咗個 percentage 嘅，但係上面呢一個 sum of profit 我都想改咗佢，所以我 right click 多一次，再揀翻。Value field setting， 然之後將上高呢個名啦，係改翻做 percentage profit， 然之後撳 OK。而家轉咗 percentage profit 啦，前面呢一個啦 ，sum of profit， 我想改翻係 d o l l a size 啦，而且小數點後冇位啦，上高個 sum of profit 我亦都想改咗佢嘅，做法亦都係一樣 ，right click 啦，然之後揀 value field setting。Number format 方面，我就揀翻 currency 冇小數點位嘅，然之後撳 OK。上高個名我就改去做 total profit。而家個 people table 就好成功將五個嘅 country 啦係排列好，有佢哋嘅 percentage 啦，亦都有佢個 total profit value。嗰個 percentage 大家可以睇到啦，喺加拿大嚟講啦就係二十點八九個 percent， 去到美國啦就係十七點七三個 percent 嘅。個 people table 就我幾滿意啦。而家我想將呢個 people table 啦係製造一個 people chart。做法一樣，擺喺個 people table 裏面，揀翻 people table analyst， 然之後撳 people chart。喺呢個 people chart 一大堆個 chart 裏面，我就揀個 pie chart。咁、那個 pie chart 啦，好明顯啦，就好快咁出現咗一個 pie chart。撳 OK， 個 pie chart 就成功 create 咗出嚟。呢、这個 pie chart 同埋其他嘅 chart 一樣，我唔需要呢啲 button 喺度，所以我 right click 其中一個 button 啦，然之後揀 hide all fields buttons on chart。剔咗落去之後啦，就冇曬個 fill chart 嘅 button。上高呢一個嘅 chart title 我亦都唔需要，揀咗佢啦，然之後撳 Enter。個 legend 我保留喺右手邊，或者你中意可以擺喺下面，或者係上面。我而家就保留喺右手邊啦。我幾滿意呢個 pie chart， 所以我順便幫佢改埋名，所以我就撳返個 people chart analyst， 然之後喺呢一度啦，係改返個名做 country pie chart。嚟到呢度 create 個 pie chart 嘅 section 啦。我已經成功咗啦，四低個檔案之後啦，下一節第五節我將會教大家點樣做個 Spark Line 嘅 Chart 同埋 Spark Line 嘅 People Table。好，做完呢個 Pie Chart 之後啦，跟住落嚟啦，我哋就嘗試教大家做呢一個嘅 Spark Line Trends of Profits by Country and Products。但我哋要做呢個 Spark Line Trend 之前啦，首先要我哋要做五個 Country 嘅 People Table。然之後先可以做到呢個 Spark Line Chart 嘅，同之前嘅 section 一樣，我喺呢一度 right click 個 Country Pie Sheet 啦，然之後撳 Move or Copy。喺 Move or Copy， 我 select 咗 Create a Copy， 然之後撳 OK。跟住落嚟，我就將個 Worksheet 改名啦，我 double click 佢改名做 Spark Line Sheet。Select 呢個 Pie Chart， 然之後撳 Delete。揀咗呢個 People Table， 我哋要 rearrange 個 People Table 裏面嘅 cell。首先我就 drag 咗個 value 上去咯，將個 country 亦都 drag 翻上上邊。喺呢個新嘅 people table 裏面，我哋多咗一個 filter 嘅 fill， 所以我將個 country drag 落去個 filter 嘅 fill 嗰度，然之後將個 profit 啦，同之前一樣都 drag 落去個 value 嗰度。咁、那個 rows 我係用乜嘢啦？個 rows 我就係用個 product， 我就揀個 product 啦，係 drag 落去個 rows 裏面，所以有六個嘅 product。然之後個 column 啦，我需要嘅就係個 year 啦，同埋個 month， 所以 year 同 month 啦變成個 column。而家我個 people table 啦就會係 all country 六個 country， 由二零一三年嘅九月啦，至到去二零一四年嘅十二月啦。我縮細啲，大家就可以睇得清楚少少。咁呢個係我要嘅其中一個 people table。呢個 people table 我要改個名。揀咗任何一個 cell， 走去 People Table Analyst 裏面，我就將佢個名改做 SL。SL 即係個 Spark Line 啦，但係呢一個係全世界嘅，即、就、係、是、五個 country， 所以我叫做 World People。跟手我就將呢個 People Table 啦，係 highlight 咗佢啦，我就 copy 多一份，所以就 Ctrl C 啦，然之後擺一份喺 A 十五 ，Ctrl V p a s t 咗落去，要見到一模一樣嘅。啊、上高呢個 country 呢一個位，我可以改為淨係加拿大，然之後撳 OK， 
所以你見到啦，而家就係加拿大嘅資料喺呢一個位置，呢個係全世界嘅。資料喺呢個位置嘅，咁、那個 format 亦都係一樣，我就唔希望佢係呢個 format， 我要係 currency 嘅 format， 所以我 right click 佢咯，然之後減翻 value field setting 喺 value field setting 裏面，我就 click 落去個 number format， 然之後改翻做 currency format without decimal place， 然之後撳 OK， 再 OK， 下低呢個亦都係一樣啦 ，OK， 再 OK。我 copy 多四份出嚟，因為有其他四個國家我未做，所以我就 highlight 呢一個位置啦，然之後撳 c t r l C， 擺落去 A 3 0 c t r l V， 再擺落去 A 4 5 5 c t r l V， 再擺落去 A 6 0 c t r l V， 再擺落去 A 7 5 5 c t r l V 啦。咁裏面啲 format 啦，係完全係搞掂晒啦。而家我要做嘅嘢啦，就係、是、上返嚟呢個位置啦，將呢個 country 改做 France， 撳 OK。下低呢個 country 改做 Germany， 即係德國，撳 OK。將下低呢個 country 改做 Mexico， 墨西哥。最後個 country 改做 United States of America。見到全部嘅 people table 做好咗，一份係全世界，一份係加拿大、法國、德國、墨西哥同埋 USA 噶。全部 people table 我都做好啦，但係呢五個 country 嘅 people table 我未改名，我揀翻加拿大呢個 people table 入翻去 people table analyst， 就將佢改名做 SL Canada。下低呢一個改名做 SL France， 再下低呢個改名做。SL Germany 呢個改名做 SL Mexico， 最後嗰個改名做 SL USA。全部嘅 s p a r k l i g h t 嘅 people table 我已經準備好啦，六個 people table 嘅名我亦都改好，所以喺呢個 section 啦，基本上就完結咗。喺最後嘅 section， 我將會教大家點樣利用呢一個 section 啦，係去 create 一個我哋叫做 s p a r k l i g h t 嘅 table， 好似呢個 s p a r k l i g h t table 咁樣。有樣嘢我漏咗嘅，我返返去第一個 country all 呢一個 table 裏面啦，走去個 design wheel 啦，然之後著返個 grand total on rows only。我哋會睇到個 rows 嗰度啊係有個 grand total， 因為我哋一陣間會需要呢個 grand total 啦，去做我哋個 s p a r k l i g h t table 嘅。咁喺呢個 section 到此為止啦，喺下個 section 啦，我將會教大家點樣做一個 2D map 嘅 people chart。好，休息之後，我哋繼續呢個 section。喺呢個 section， 我將會教大家點樣 create 呢一個世界地圖。咁呢個世界地圖啦，係一個 two D 嘅世界地圖。首先，同之前一樣，我將呢一個 s p a r k l i g h t 嘅 worksheet 啦，係 create 多一份，可以 right click 佢啦，跟住就揀 move or copy。喺 move or copy 嘅期間，我揀翻 create a copy。然之後 click OK， 然之後我將除咗第一個 people table 之外啦，下低啲所有嘅 people table 啦，我都會 highlight 咗佢，然之後撳 delete， 將所有嘅 people table delete 咗，除咗上高一個。喺上高呢一個嘅 people table， 我亦都係重新啦安排過佢嗰啲 people view， 將所有嘅 people view 啦都係拎翻曬上上邊，留翻一個空白嘅 people table。喺呢個空白嘅 people table 啦，我將個 country 啦。係攞落去個 rows 嗰度啦，然之後將個 profits 啦，係攞落去個 values 嗰度。而家好成功，我就 create 咗一個好簡單嘅 people table。呢啲 data 我已經足夠啦，去做我嗰個嘅 two D map 世界地圖。但未做之前啦，我都想改一改佢個 value， 所以我就 right click 呢個 value cell 啦，然之後揀 value field setting， 揀翻個 number format， 然之後揀翻 currency， 冇小數點位。搞掂咗之後，我要做個 2D map 喺二零一九嘅 Excel 或者二零一六嘅 Excel 啦。你想做個 2D map 啦，你可以撳去 Insert 裏面呢度有一個叫 map 嘅東西，就可以做個 2D map。但係未做之前啦，呢、這個 2D map 一定要喺實質度攞啲 data 嘅，就唔可以喺個 People Table 度攞啲 data。所以我就 highlight 呢個 People Table 啦，撳 c t r l C copy 咗佢，擺喺 D 三個位置啦。然之後我撳翻個 Home tab 啦，喺個 Page 裏面我就淨係揀 Values and Source Formatting。揀咗之後，我係 copy 咗一個 h a r d c o d e 嘅 Data Table 喺呢一度，我就利用呢個 h a r d c o d e 嘅 Data Table 啦，去 create 個 Map
select 咗呢個 hard copy 嘅 data table 咯，跟住揀 insert 咯 ，to the map 咯，或者係 map 啦，然之後揀一個叫做 fill map 嘅東西 ，click 咗落去之後，成個地圖就出咗嚟。但係呢個地圖咧係 refer 做呢個 hard copy 嘅 data， 我要將呢個地圖啦係 refer 翻去呢個 pivot table， 所以我揀咗個地圖之後。我就撳上高嘅 select data 喺個 chart data range 裏面 highlight 咗佢啦，我就 select 翻原本嘅 source data， 然之後撳 OK。咁而家呢個地圖啦係冇任何改變，不過係由呢個 source data 啦係取代咗呢個 hard copy data。所以如果喺呢個 source data 裏面，我淨係揀某一個 country 啦，你見到啦，佢就淨係顯示嗰個 country 嘅地圖啦。當然我而家揀翻所有嘅 country 啦，就係 select all 啦。跟手啦，我就改一個 chart title 啦，我將個 chart title 啦係改做 world map profit， 然之後成功地 create 咗呢個 two D 嘅 map。跟手呢個 hard c o d e 嘅 data， 我亦都唔需要，所以我 highlight 佢啦，然之後撳 delete， 我擺翻喺適當嘅位置一個 two D map 啦，就 create 咗出嚟。呢、这個 section 就好簡單，到呢度 create 咗個 two D map。咁喺下一次啦，我將會教大家點樣 create 個。Dashboard 裏面嘅其中一個 s p a r k s l i g h t Table。好，休息完之後啦，我將會教大家啦，係點樣做我哋最後嗰個 Dashboard 嘅 Worksheet， 即係呢一張嘅 Worksheet， 好似我哋個 Final 嘅檔案一樣。咁我哋點樣擺放呢啲 Worksheet 過嚟啦？我而家試下開始啦。首先啦，我就會撳呢個加號啦，係加多一張個 Worksheet 先。咁我撳咗個加號之後啦。你見到有一張 worksheet 咧，就係加咗落嚟嘅。咁嗰張紙咧就叫做 sheet one 嘅。首先我去擺翻個 sheet one 啦，就係最新嗰張 worksheet 咧，就擺咗喺個 map sheet 嘅前邊啦。然之後 double click 啦，係改咗名啦，我叫佢做 dashboard 嘅。嗱，跟住落嚟啦，我就揀咗個 rows one 啦，第一行啦，成行揀曬，撳一撳個 rows one 啦，然之後將個顏色咧係轉咗做灰色啦，將呢個 rows one 係拉翻高少少啦。亦都喺 A 1嗰度啦，我就打 profits of big data company， 然之後撳 enter。我亦都 highlight 咗 A 1啦，至到去 V 1啦，然之後撳呢個 merge and center。我發覺個字體係太細，我將個字體係校返大啲，你可以校到廿六或者廿八啦。然之後字嘅顏色校去做白色，就做一個嘅 title。跟住落嚟，我就去返 c h i product 嘅 worksheet， 我揀返呢個 chart 啦，撳 c t r l c copy 啦，然之後去返我最初嘅 dashboard 啦，撳 c t r l v 啦，係 paste 咗落嚟㗎。當然你可以校返個 scale 嘅大細，我暫時校咗咁嘅 scale 嘅大細先，一間我可能就會再校過嘅。另外啦，我就會走返去個 pie chart 嗰度啦，然之後 select 個 pie chart 啦 c t r l c copy 啦。去返個 dashboard 啦 c t r l V 啦，係貼返上呢一個位置嘅。走返去 country segment profit w o r k s h e e t 啦 ，select 呢個 bar chart 啦 c t r l C 啦，亦都去返 dashboard 啦 c t r l V 啦，係擺咗喺呢一個位置。最後去返個 map w o r k s h e e t 嗰度啦，揀返個 map 啦，即係個 world map profit c t r l C 啦，然之後去返個 dashboard 嗰度啦，係 paste 翻落嚟嘅。咁個地圖就擺咗呢一度。然之後我 highlight 由 D 十八啦，去到 K 廿五咯，呢、这個範圍啦，俾一個間隔嘅格式佢咯 ，all border 嘅格式咯，因為呢個範圍我將會 create 個 sparks line 嘅 table 嘅，跟住落嚟啦，由 D 十八去到 K 十八啦，我就撳翻 merge and center 嘅，然之後我就會打個字落呢一個位置啦，咁、那、嗰個字啦將會係。Sparks Light Trend of Profits by Country and Product 個字體嘅大細啦，我就係校到去十六或者十八嘅，你中意啦。跟住由 D 十九至到去 K 十九啦，我亦都打六個字喺度嘅，嗰六個字將會係 Product 啦、Total Profit 啦、Total Trend 啦、Canada、France 啦、Germany、Mexico 同埋 USA 嘅。咁但係當然啦，呢六個 column 啦。你都可以係教返闊少少，一陣間我哋就會擺個 sparks l i g h t 嘅 trend 喺呢個位置嘅。咁喺 product 下面呢個 cell 啦，亦即係 D 二十呢個 cell 啦，我就打一條嘅 equation 俾佢嘅。咁嗰條嘅 equation 呢，就係、是、等號啦，即、就、係、是、個等於啦
然之後撳翻嗰個 box line 嘅 sheet， 揀翻 A 6呢個 cell， 然之後撳 enter。其實我哋只係將 A 6嗰個 cell 嘅 product value 啦，係抄咗過嚟呢邊嘅啫。跟住我哋 drag 呢個 product value 落去下低，去到 D 2 5嘅，咁所有個 product 啦就擺曬喺呢個位啦。跟住個 total profit of 呢一個嘅 product 啦，我哋喺邊度揾到呢？咁你亦都係打等號囉。咁打完等號之後啦，你就會走入去個 Sparks Line 嘅 Worksheet 裏面啦，揾返最頂嗰個 Pivot Table 嘅呢個 cell 啦，亦即係 R 六嘅呢個 cell 啦，然之後撳 Enter 啦，你就會見到啦，呢、这個 Value 啦就會擺咗喺呢一度。但係個 Format 都唔係錢嘅 Format， 所以我揀咗呢個 cell 啦，撳返個 Home Tab 裏面嘅 Font 呢個 Menu。然之後減翻 number format， 減翻 currency without decimal space 嘅，然之後撳 OK。但係我哋唔可以就咁 drag 落去嘅，因為如果你就咁 drag 落去嘅時候啦，你會見到個 value 係一模一樣嘅。嚇、啊，我係 drag 落去之前啦，首先我哋走翻個 formula 裏邊，即係撳翻 F 二啦，見到成個 formula 啦，我就 highlight 呢一個 product 嘅名稱啦 ，highlight 再包括埋嗰個雙引號啦。然之後減返呢個 cell， 即係 D 2 0嘅，即係將呢個 product 嘅 name 係改為 D 2 0然之後撳 Enter 嘅，跟住我哋先至 drag 落去啦，佢就會跟返前面呢個 product name 啦，係揾返嗰個適當嘅 product value 擺返落呢個位置嘅，所有嘅 product value 都擺返啱啦。跟住落嚟就係個 total trend 個 sparks line 啦。咁呢個點樣做啦？首先你 highlight 咗個 total trend。個位置由 F 2 0至到 F 2 5啦，然之後撳 Insert 嘅 tab 喺 Insert 嘅 tab 中間嘅位置有一個叫 Sparks Line 啦，然之後揀個 Sparks Line， 擊咗落去之後啦，喺個 Data Range 裏面啦，我就撳翻個 Sparks Line Worksheet， 然之後 select 最頂即係、就是、Country All 呢一個嘅 table highlight 咗佢噶，但係當然係不包括呢一個 Grand Total 啊，然之後撳 Enter。你見到個 Sparks Line 咧就 create 咗出嚟㗎。同樣啦，喺 Canada、France、Germany、Mexico 同埋 USA 啦，我都做同樣嘅嘢㗎。我 highlight 咗 Canada 呢個 fill 啦，然之後撳 Insert Sparks Line Data Range， 揀返 Sparks Line 嘅 worksheet 裏面嘅 Canada 嘅 data 啦，跟住撳 OK。France 都係一樣啦 ，Insert Sparks Line Sparks Line worksheet， select 個 France 嘅 data 啦。咁記得啦，係 select 準確少少，然之後撳 OK 嘅。跟住 Germany 亦都係一樣啦 ，highlight 佢 ，insert Sparks Line， 然之後 Sparks Line 嘅 worksheet 啦。然之後我 select 個 Germany 個扎嘅 data，Mexico，insert Sparks Line，select Sparks Line 嘅 worksheet，select all Mexico data and click OK。USA highlight 佢 ，insert Sparks Line。select 個 Sparks Line 嘅 worksheet， 然之後 highlight 曬所有 USA 嘅 data 啦，然之後 click OK。咁所有嘅 Sparks Line 咧就成功地裝咗喺度啦。最後我 scale 翻嗰啲嘅 chart， 等佢 fit 翻落呢個位置啦。咁呢個 chart 啦，我就 scale 翻落嚟睇少少啦。跟住呢個 chart 啦，我就係 move 翻去呢個位啦，然之後拉到去呢個位置啦。V 或者 W 啦，咁我拉到去 V 都 OK 嘅。誒、okay, ，咁呢個地圖啦，擺返上少少啦，然之後拉返低少少啦。Very good， 咁我就擺好晒所有位置啦，所有嘅 chart 啦，啊，所有嘅 sparks line table 啦，都 create 咗㗎。我就係爭左邊嗰個所謂嘅 slicer， 亦即係我係 find 到 dashboard 裏面呢個 year 啦、country 啦，同埋 product 嘅 slicer。咁呢個 section 啦。我到呢一度為止啦，咁喺下個 section 啦，最終咧係教埋大家點去 create 嗰三個嘅 slicer。我而家 save 低個 file 先，撳 file 啦，然之後 save 低呢個 in progress 嘅 file 啦。咁下一節再見啦。最後我哋去到一個 final 嘅 stage， 咁喺呢個 final 嘅 stage 啦，我將會帶大家啦係做埋呢三個 slicer， 包括 year、country 同埋 product 嘅 slicer。上一次我哋去到呢個位，咁今次呢，我就喺呢個位裏面呢，係 create 個 slicer。如果你想 create 個 slicer 嘅話呢，你可以揀是但一個 pivot chart 啦，或者去是但一個 pivot table。咁我就揀返呢一個嘅 type product pivot table 啦。喺呢個 pivot table 裏面啦，
我就撳翻 Pivot Table 嘅 Analyze， 然之後撳 Insert Slicer。當我揀咗 Insert Slicer 之後，呢度有一堆嘅 Slicer 俾我揀啦。而我最有興趣就係 Country 啦、Product 啦，同埋 Years 嘅 Slicer 嘅啫。其他 Slicer 我唔需要做噶啦。跟住我撳 OK， 撳咗 OK 之後，呢三個 Slicer 啦就會擺咗喺呢個位置。我 select 三三個 Slicer by Control Select 啦，然之後撳 Control C Copy。翻返去我個 dashboard 嘅 worksheet 裏面，然之後撳 Ctrl V 啦，係 paste 翻落嚟。你會見到三個 slicer 都喺度，我就將呢三個 slicer 啦，係排好位啦，同埋 scale 翻適當嘅 size 啦，擺喺唔同嘅位置上高。首先係個 year slicer 啦，跟住就係個 country slicer， 最後先至到個 product slicer 嘅。擺好曬位，校好曬位之後啦，我亦都可以改變呢個 slicer 嘅顏色。跟住我就揀其中一個 slicer 啦，走去 slicer 呢個 tab 裏面揀一隻色，一個 format 就係黃色啦。第二個啦，我就係揀藍色啦。第三個啦，我就係揀綠色嘅，咁就會有黃、藍同埋綠啦。咁但係呢三個 slicer 有一個問題嘅，個問題就係個 years 嘅 slicer 啦，因為我係由個 type product 嘅 pivot table create 出嚟啦，所以呢一個 years 嘅 slicer。Country Slicer 或者係 Product Slicer 只係控制到呢一個 People Chart 嘅啫，即係 Type Product 嘅 People Chart。我哋試下，如果我揀二零一四年，咁呢度出現二零一四年，我揀加拿大，咁呢個二零一四年嘅加拿大資料。不過啦，你見到其他嘅 People Chart 同埋個 Spark Slide 都冇改變到嘅。我點樣去將呢啲 Slicer 同埋所有嘅 People Chart、所有嘅 Spark Slide 都連係埋一齊啦？我是但揀咗個 Slicer 先。我動作就係走去 slicer 呢個 tab 裏面有一個叫做 report connection， 擊落去 report connection， 你發覺呢個 dialog box 裏面啦，就有曬所有嘅 pivot table 嘅名擺曬呢一度，我著曬所有嘅 pivot table， 意思就係我呢個 slicer 將會控制曬所有嘅 pivot table 同埋佢嘅相對 pivot chart 啦，咁我就撳 OK 啦，跟住下一個 country 呢個都係一樣，揀咗佢之後啦，撳 report connection。然之後喺個 dialog box 裏面啦，係揀曬所有嘅 pivot table 嘅，咁 OK。最後就係呢個 product 啦，我亦都係撳翻 report connection 啦。喺呢個 panel 裏面啦，我亦都係揀曬所有嘅 connection 去唔同嘅 pivot table 裏面啦。然之後撳 OK。最後我想試一試先，如果我淨係想睇某一個國家，例如 Germany 啦，我就 c l i c k 落去 Germany 嗰度，所以你見到個地圖啦，係變咗 Germany 啦。個 pie chart 當然係一百 percent 啦，而呢啲 data 啦，亦都係 Germany 嘅 data。如果我撳多一個國家，撳住 Germany， 跟住撳 Control 加拿大嘅話啦，我就會有 Germany 德國同埋加拿大兩個國家嘅資料啦。咁德國咧就係、是、啊，個份數係大啲啦，加拿大嘅份數係比較少啲嘅。我亦都可以揀某一隻 product， 例如呢一隻 product 啦，撳咗落去之後啦。就係、是、加拿大同埋德國啦，呢只 product 嘅一個份數嘅分佈，咁你可以好明顯睇到啦，喺德國咧好淺色，即係比較少啲嘅喺呢一隻 product 嚟講啊，咁就係非常之少嘅。呢啲咧就係我個 slicer 可以控制嘅嘢啦。試下一次二零一四年先，咁呢啲係二零一四年嘅資料，咁二零一四年嘅資料所有嘅 country 都顯示出嚟，都成功咗嘅。呢、這個 tutorial 啦，教大家做嘅 dashboard 啦。基本上咧就係成功地完成嘅。如果你中意呢個 video 嘅話咧，不妨係 subscribe 我啦，哦，同埋係介紹多啲朋友啦，睇我呢個 video 啦，識多啲 Excel 嘅資料啦。多謝大家收睇啦，拜拜。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and give like to me. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better Click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Finally, muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk and the WhatsApp of my telephone number is plus one eight five two 
6592 8609。咁好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 d s c exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦。你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。